um, I think you know there's many special cells in the in the immune response and in the immune system, but I think the neutrophils are probably one of the most important innate immune effector cell, and I think their importance is highlighted by the fact that uh, um, patients who lack functional neutrophils are susceptible to infections and severe infections with opportunistic pathogens. So neutrophils are they're called the first line of defense because they can get to sites of infection very quickly and they are armed and ready to get into action and they can also, they're quite effective against a broad variety of microbes. So that's the infection side and of course now we are learning more and more about their role in pathology. So this is the so in inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. So that's another very interesting aspect. So more and more now we are starting to understand that neutrophils play an important role in inflammatory diseases and autoimmune diseases, not just as effector cells but also in, as regulators of the immune response. <laughs> well, I work on netosis, which is uh, people consider quite remarkable, and I think so. Netosis is the release of neutrophil extracellular traps which um, are these web-like extracellular structures that can trap and kill a variety of different microbes. And uh, um, it's a fascinating cell biological event. So as a cell biologist, I'm not an immunologist, so I got in interested in neutrophils because of this phenomenon, which was reported about, um, I would say, 10, 12 years ago. And um, I think that's also what generated a lot of interest in neutrophils. So they were quite neglected for a long time from the mainstream immunologists, and then the discovery of netosis and the relevance of netosis um, started generating a lot of interest in neutrophils again. So I think uh, netosis is quite fascinating. Also, they're, if you think about it, they, they're extremely motile cells, so they're, they're the fastest cell in your body. So they can move and squeeze around your tissues, um, so, so they're quite diver they have diverse functions, I think that's quite fascinating. Well, one of, one of the special things you can do with neutrophils is, first of all, you can do gene therapy because you can, um, um, you can uh, isolate stem cells from the blood and, and apply gene therapy on them and very easily reintroduce them in the host. And they will home to the side to the bone marrow and then start producing healthy cells. So, so that's one. We can also so that's gene therapy can be used to correct problems due to uh, uh, a genetic uh, mutation in patients. But also we can introduce um, new sort of you know genetic tools in neutrophils, which will make them more more effective. Yeah. So I think that's that's one of the advantages. Um, of course. The problem is that because neutrophils have so many different functions, as I was talking about, it's hard to, we don't understand enough at the moment to be able to um, suppress the pathological or pathogenic aspects of, of their function without interfering with the protective aspects. So we need to know more about these effector mechanisms and the way they're regulated in order to intervene therapeutically. 